Today we are in session three of unit two. Uh, we will be talking about structure and operations of Islamic banks. This structure and operation, the structure and operations of Islamic banks is not entirely different from those of conventional banks. A typical commercial bank is headed by the CEO appointed by board of directors whose members are selected by the shareholders. Indeed, the large shareholders have influence on the composition of the board. Below CEO and the COOs, the chief operating officers who look after different departments of the banks. There is an internal auditing department that keeps an eye on different banking operations and financial reporting. Commercial banks have to follow the rules and regulations set by the central banks apart from those formulated by securities and exchange commissions. All these are also applicable for Islamic banks. But each Islamic bank also has its own Sharia board that validates their product service, services and operations. Until now, no country has a central Sharia establishment that standardize Islamic financial products and services. There are two important institutions that provide guidelines on products, services and operations, but these are not mandatory. They are Islamic Financial Services Board, IFSB, and Accounting and Auditing Organization for Islamic Financial Institution or OFE. Almost all major banks in the Western capital, capitalist economies are owned by a small or large number of shareholders or institutional investors. Government ownership of banks is seen as a source of inefficiency, but the situation in many developed countries has been somewhat different. As for Islamic banks, in the beginning, many of them were established in developing countries with the support from the government, such as Dubai Islamic Bank and Bank Islamic Malaysia. However, Islamic banks are now increasingly established in the private sector. As the principles of Islamic banking are different, special laws were made to facilitate their operations. In this section, you will learn the differences in the structure and operation of Islamic banks and the conventional commercial banks.